Hello, welcome back to Death's Cold Embrace. And it is winter out here, snowing heavily. We have found Julia's grave. We have found a shovel. And I think we're about to dig it up and take her out of the churchyard. That's our primary objective. We found the shovel, we found the loot we needed. So we'll have to go back out through the front entrance with her body. It's fine, we've cleared the path. There should be no unexpected encounters, I hope. The only question I have in my mind, let's take a look, is uh, why were we given this flask of holy water to deal with the undead when there is no undead that we have encountered? Perhaps if we sacrilegiously dig up one body, all the rest will come to life to defend them. But anyway, here lies Julia Fairbanks, beloved daughter. This is definitely the right grave. Let's dig. See the pile of dirt growing on the other side as we repeatedly dig. So there we go. We've got down to the coffin, I think. Are we done? Now we can keep digging. It's an interesting interaction here. Ah, right, now we can open it. That's an interesting interaction. I would have expected they would uh, have jumped to a cutscene of him digging, like they used the animated cutscenes elsewhere, but maybe they didn't have the animations. Let's see what is inside the coffin. Surprise, it's her body. Wait, what? Now I'm hearing whispers and zombie groans. She's not a zombie. Well, she's got very white eyes. I'm hearing creepy noises from all over. Perhaps this answers the question why I have the holy water. I don't see anything. But, uh, the spirits are restless. That's not a zombie, that's the fellow we knocked out. Well, scary noises, but uh, nothing <coughs> appearing. So I wait. Where are you going, with my sister? <coughs> what sister? You must be Edwin then, or rather, used to be. Indeed. Yet again, I ask. Why do you defile Julia's grave? Would you believe I was sent here by your father? Father? Because he's the cause of this, of all of this. Oh, yes, he got bad. Let's just say he's trying to right a wrong and bring Julia back from the dead. So it is as I expected. He is mad. Perhaps, but Brother Thaddeus is convinced it's possible as well. Here, look at this. Uh, my father has proven himself noble of heart. No matter how mad. After the duel, I fled the graveyard and went all over town before returning here later that night. I decided I could not face my father. So I went to the secret room which Thaddeus had shown me as a child and wrote a farewell note. And I took my own life. I guess that explains why you're haunting the place. 
Actually, I remember nothing until a short while ago. You must have awoken me by exhuming my dear sister. And in the process, I've disturbed the spirits here. Yeah, I noticed that. They can be calmed by laying her to rest again. However, that will get you and my father nowhere. So, I have another idea. Yes? Place my body in the casket and replace the earth. Since I have not yet been interred, it should suffice. So where exactly is this secret room where you or your body is found? It's in the small library near Thaddeus' office. And if you could, also place my note on his desk. He will appreciate it. I'll stand here and guard it for my sister until you return. Guard it? From whom? From them. Got it. New objectives. Edwin committed suicide in a secret room near Thaddeus' office. Find his body, place it in Julia's coffin, close the coffin, and cover it with earth to calm the restless dead. Edwin's ghost also asks you to place his suicide note, which should be by his body, on Brother Thaddeus' desk. When you're done with those tasks, return to Edwin's ghost so you can get this over with. And then, once again, go to the front entrance. Alright, so... Uh, no surprise, we do have undead to deal with after all. Oh, lots of them. Hammer horns. Yuck. Yikes. Not at all my favourite people to deal with. Right, so uh, let me just check the map. Thaddeus' office was up these stairs, I do believe. So we're going, whatever we do, we're going to need to go through this main uh, room. But I don't necessarily have to take the direct path there. Stay on the dark areas. Perhaps. Well, so. Oh, wait, it's noisy here, isn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure if sacrificing large open spaces for noisy spaces is the right trade off. Especially when he's just patrolling right there. Let's, let's try the front door again. First this light bulb. Oh, zombies. And more haunts. Okay, we're not going to have an easy time getting through there. What about this path? Seems quite enough. Oh, and this is stone as well, not not tile. So seems a better way to go. Now, what's what's this way? Ah, oh, just the stairs up. That's not used to us. Get in a dark corner. All right, so we are on the eastern side. And we need to be on the western side. They're all rather alert. Can I go around anyway? We could go around through the graveyard and then in through this door. Doesn't really, it's a lot less direct. Oh, we need to get up on the platformy area through here. That's the most direct. So now I do have water arrows, and I will. It's a little dark here. I will make use of them. Or waste them. Like that. And let's take out the spot here as well, so we have a bit more darkness on, the, on our side. Uh, 
That's a zombie there on the floor, isn't it? Alright, let's get darker. So, the different noises I'm hearing. I'm hearing the grunts and groans of a zombie, as you would have uh, noticed in an earlier episode where there was a, uh, a man with lots of drink who's hired to patrol and make such noises. I'm also hearing the devilish laughter of a hammerhorn, which is probably the one there with the glowing on his feet. Maybe this one? No, oh, he's seen me. I have been spotted, and uh, that was an undead priest or something casting spells at me, which is not very friendly. Coming this way. Or did he lose sight of me? Eleven water arrows. I don't really have enough to use holy water on them. So I think if I just try and put out torches, which oddly didn't actually go out, but I did turn out light. So if I try to be sneaky, I should be able to get past well enough. Okay. Alright, he didn't follow me. Let's... I guess there's a little more darkness here as well. Better. Now it's not as dark here, they're still hunting. Okay. Perhaps I can distract them. I don't have any broadheads. Do I have any noise makers? No. Uh, maybe I have to just make a run for it. Let's go. Someone saw me. But perhaps I'm too quick for them. Being zombies, they're not the fastest creatures. I think that worked. Not sure if it'll work on the way out as well. Let's check his room. Fighting is that uh, them fighting the library? Die, ghost! You must be solid, ghost. Die! I'm still not him, I think. So. There we are. Very noisy. There's hammer horns down there. Hopefully nothing else on this floor. I don't need to go in those rooms. That's just the balconies, I think. Is it? No, it's not a room. Well, that's not the library. There's a library here. Here is a small library. So, shut out this creepy noises. We have found the library. Uh, there is a secret room somewhere. I see also a secret loot that I missed before. Where is the secret room? Just says it is somewhere here. Now I did hunt in here before saying it felt like there should be one, but I didn't find anything. I'm going to have to look a little harder this time. Presumably the switch, whatever switch it was, was inoperable. Inoperable. Last time I was here. In there. Although not necessarily. They might have made it possible to find it first and then hear the story. But, um... Is that a book? Yeah. Yeah. 
kill these shells again. Or is it this fellow with his land here? Yeah. Knock knock. Hmm. This has got to be the right room. The question is, how does the secret door open? If you told me in the cutscene, I forgot already. So I'm looking for a book that I might be able to, or a switch or something. Once again, we're at uh, the exciting, a new exciting chapter of Garrett Stairs and Walls, hoping they light up. That's a uh, thing he does. Through here. Oops. What about you, sir? You're hiding a switch? Sill. <laughs> Nothing on this window sill. Oh, uh, it's just loot, okay. Not what I'm looking for, but uh, I'll take it. Is that a meerkat? I don't know, it's an interesting looking bookend. Any books here? No. Well, you people hide your secret rooms rather too well, eh? This thing on top of that bookshelf. Is that a candlestick? Let us find out. Wooden roof, so repair should work. It is indeed a candlestick. And nothing else that helps me. But that makes me realise I can look at this bookshelf up here where there is one book that's standing out to me. Maybe that is the secret I'm looking for. And again? Perhaps not. Let's check on top of this. Nothing else is... Uh, should let us check the higher bookshelves, which we... higher books, which we could not reach before. Nothing. I'm going to take a closer look here in case there's just uh, it is a switch up there and we just could, we're too far away to highlight it before. But no, it's just a lighter coloured book. Oh dear. Now what? This is the small library near his office. This must be the right room. It was already a suspicious room. I guess I'll check the upper le levels of all these bookcases. So can't reach him from the ground. Nothing. All right. Next one. Anything? Switches? Nope. How about this one here? Check the books. Nothing. All right. Uh, this is a definite exercise in frustration. It's got to be behind one of these bookcases, right? Looks suspicious. There's, there's, there's room. Anything down the sides that I missed? Anything on top that I missed? Didn't look like it. Can I stand up here? <laughs> Can. Nothing on that one. Appears to be nothing on this one. But I did look down the side here, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing is showing up, and I don't like that. Yes, I am blind, but uh, I shouldn't be that blind. Now that I know there's a secret room, the switch should be. It's possible to find, but it is eluding me. So, I think once again I'm going to go find the forums and see if I can get a hint.
as to what I'm missing here. All, all the different textures there, but there doesn't appear to be a switch. So I will go try and find out what I'm missing, and I will see you back here very shortly. Right, welcome back again. I went to the forums and found what I was looking for, the clue to where the switch is. Now it is just an ordinary switch book, you know, book that pretends to be a book, but it's actually a switch to open a secret door. But apparently you have to be really, really close to it, and maybe I wasn't close enough, and it is supposed to be on this shelf here, as far as I understand. Well, nothing so far. Nope. Well, it is it on the right, so maybe it's this one. Yeah. If not, you know, I will scale them all very closely again, uh, looking for any book that lights up. But, uh, it's not the most fun thing to do. Nothing. No. I swear I looked at all these before close enough to find anything if it was here, but uh no. Maybe I have restarted this recording super Aha. Right, so you'd have to be quite close. It's that far away it doesn't light up that close it does. Alright. That's what we need. There's the secret room. I knew those panels were suspicious. So we have a fountain. Several actually. Glowy fountains. And statues. Glowy mushrooms. And there is a hammer and poor Edwin's body and his note. Let's take his note first. And his money, why not? Edwin's note to Thaddeus. Dearest Thaddeus, you have been a dear friend and confidant since I was a boy. You took genuine interest in my growth and my future, and for that I will be forever grateful. But last night, I mistakenly took Julia's life from her because of my father's hatred for his rival. My guilt consumes me and my faith in the Builder is shaken to the core. Your faith is unshakable, however, and so I ask that you pray for my soul, which now begins its journey into whatever afterlife might exist. I welcome death's cold embrace and hope that I will find the peace of your forgiveness and that of Julia. Edwin. So we need to take his body. Oh, there's this uh, dagger that he fell on. Take his body back to the grave and we need to drop the note on Thaddeus's desk. Good, okay, we're making progress. There's gonna be creepy noises outside here again, but uh, hopefully we can make it undisturbed as far as Thaddeus's room. Yes, which is right here. <coughs> Rest there a moment, good Edwin. Or bad Edwin, or whatever your name is. Drop the note on the desk. <coughs> Come along with me, downstairs. Right, so we have a problem now. We have to get back to the graveyard and everything is there in our way. And we just ran for it last time. I can't run as fast with the body. Not sure merely running is going to be sufficient this time to return. However, alright, which way are we going? Let me stand in the darkness and check the map. So we just come down here. The quickest way back to the graveyard. Well there was lots of fighting in the library and I'm pretty sure there were baddies in the library, but this is where we need to be. So the quickest way, well the most direct route is to go to the end of this hallway through the little courtyard back in and through the library. So let's try that. Why not? If it's the shortest path, then maybe it is the best path. <coughs> There seem to be no 
unclean spirits wandering the courtyard. We shall find out about the library. So far, so good. This room. Okay, so we do need to just go through here. People fighting or whatever around there. Zombie. Let me make. Is this the right way? Yeah, that's east. Oh, it's not the library, it's a little, uh, study room. And that's the door we need, okay. No problem. Uh, the library was the southwest and was infested, but we seem to be better off out here. Oh no, 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 no. Ow. I'm not going to win this fight, am I? Take my invisibility potion and run and hide in a corner. Visible again, but uh, hopefully they won't find me here. If they do, I have flash bombs, I have holy water, I may be able to deal with them. Well, that was a bit pointless. Through a flash mine, it uh, kind of alerts him, but he's run over there for some reason. Now I have a flash mine in my way, which is surely going to alert them and might hurt me, but it will kind of blind me. Good, just don't get too close to it. I can beat him up the long way away. Alright, plus one is there. Leave these people to their tortured wanderings. At least it is nice and dark here. Right, place him in the <coughs> casket. And return all the dirt. <coughs> Back to the grave. No problem. Scrape it all back in. Covered up the casket. We've almost meet, reached the regulation height. Depth or whatever. Fulfilling the grave. to get back to Edwin. Okay, right, well, uh, we did not get murdered by ghosts, although we came quite close. Now, it's supposed to be possible. Can I pick it up? No. To disarm mines with lockpicks, but, uh, Doesn't seem to be working. And I can't pick it up. Let's just set it off. Ah, blind. But it doesn't matter. There's my blood. What a mess. Seems 
He was all quiet. Good. Excellent. Back to the front gate then. No more restless spirits to bother us. Edwin, your body is under the grave, under the dirt. Thank you, Mr. Garrett. Garrett, you have freed my spirit as well. Tell my father I forgive him. Rest in peace, Edwin. <laughs> Ghost fell over. That's that. Right, now we have Julia's body. All we have to do is take it back to the gate. Let's go! Find out what happens next. Gate opens for us. End of Act 2. So, uh, Waking the Dead. It took us an hour and 15 minutes. We found only just over half the loot. There was 5,000 to be found. We found two out of seven secrets. So, assuming... Well, one of them was the secret room, I think. One of them was that gem we found. So, there's probably another five gems or something hiding around there. Which probably accounts for most of the loot as well. That's alright. Uh, scouring every nook and cranny is not really my preferred playstyle. Uh, unless I already know a mission back to France and I'm just, uh, you know, replaying it for the umpteenth time. Okay, so we have got Julius' body. We need to proceed with the ritual. Difficulty hard. Before you begin gathering components, you need to lighten your load. Get back inside the manor and leave Julius' body by the secret door. You can carry her down later once you have everything you need. So I hope not too many guards see us carrying a body around the streets, so there might be some questions. Although knowing the guards, there'll be less questions and more just swords. They don't like the sight of me ordinarily, they're not going to like the sight of me with a body. I know that music as well, but I can't place it. But the uh, YouTube copyright uh, police will tell me what music it is. I think we're at the east gate, and the banner is there, so we just need to get across. Now, if the apartments were open, there's a shortcut through there, but they are probably not. I am just going to take a quick uh, look up to the north to see if they are. Before I do anything, let's do what I've forgotten to every single time and make a quick save at the start of the mission. Is our guard friend still here? He is. Some discussion about uh, the mountain pass or temple or whatever that the archaeologist person had been writing in his diary about that it would be impassable in the snow. I, there's so much foreshadowing that I'm sure we're going to end up there. However, we have our noisy neighbor as. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, somebody decided to put a stop to his music permanently. So although he was going to be evicted, he uh, apparently did not get the time 
to actually leave. Now, and over here, has left quite a music playing, which I shall stop anyway. Do I have rope arrows? I do. Oh, we have a new gate here that I don't remember being open before. Oh, it's just the east gate, okay. Let me take a quick look up here. Once more, for the <laughs> third time. See if anything is new in the fake zombies apartment. Apparently not. Or in the <laughs> apartment across the way. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Let's try that once more. Garrett's getting a bit uh, less acrobatic in his old age, I guess. And encountering physics. There we are. Nope. You were there. Back on the road, Garrett. Come on. Come on. There we go. She's not that hard. Now, so the door doesn't open once again. We can. Ooh, blood! Who has been spilling blood here? Oh, hello. She has a screen now for uh, to stop her peeping Tom friend from seeing. But he hasn't left us any loot, so. I'm wondering if she is responsible for the uh, for his death there. Wouldn't surprise me. It's not a ledge, but I don't think a window opens, so any more clambering is probably a waste of time. Let's just try to return the way we came. Carefully. Carefully. Oh, that'll do. Any food? Nope. Just my lockpicks and the book. Alright, we have a guard here. And I don't think those departments are going to be open, surely. So let's find out. What was that? It was nothing, sir. But why don't you come take a look? somebody else walking about. That's right. Just, oh, nothing. Uh, well, would you look at this. Another guard falling asleep on the job. Doesn't open, doesn't open, doesn't open. Alright. So nothing really worth doing up there except uh, seeing how the... Uh, the neighbor playing his music too loud turned out. Now, is this guard post still occupied? Probably, there's a guard. I mean, they're not coming this way. There's a couple of hammerites outside their chapel as well. Can I get close enough to hear their conversation? Elder, hast thou heard of the intruder earlier? Nay, I've been on street patrol. Twas truly an intruder in the chapel? Aye, at least is the rumor. Brother Archibald did say that someone claimed to have spied the interloper. And many objects of value have been taken. By the builder, how did this happen? I know not, although the basement entrance is a possibility. Brother Nathaniel hath since returned and will no doubt conduct a full inquiry in the morning. He hath ordered all reports be delivered to him by eight bells on the morrow. Why doth Nathaniel not begin the inquiry right away? He was much fatigued, having been out on business for much of the night. I presume he desireth all facts before reporting the matter to Brother Thaddeus. Aye, tis wise. Thaddeus hath been ill of late. Well, I must be off to bed myself. Builder be with thee, brother. Mm 
One is standing guard, the other is gone. So, if Brother Nathaniel be back, perhaps the uh, restricted room in the library will be accessible to us. I'm sure we'll find out later on. Uh, we have a bunch of things to collect for the ritual, including the page which was torn out we have to find somewhere. Perhaps that's in the restricted room. As well as talismans. And... Oh, was that a fruit? It was, let's eat it. Hey, hit points. As well as talismans and different kinds of paper. Oh, and a healing potion. How nice. Still can't read that, but they've restocked their arrows, so I will unstock them. Let's look carefully up here. I don't think there's anyone around. Oh, I'm wrong. Nobody better be tapping. <coughs> Nobody better be tapping around up here. Quite right, sir. Another rope arrow. Uh, read that, I think. Yes. Uh, we have read that as well. There's nothing new in the reports. Okay. Just some weapons and stuff. No loot, but, uh... Guard isn't there. The hammer is. Let's, let's move the body a little closer and decide our plan of attack here. So I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go to the Hammerite Chapel just now, but I do want to get rid of this guy because otherwise I don't really have a way out. The apartment's closed. How far away is the guard who is patrolling is my question. Because this guy is easy enough to go with. And he has a key to the chapel. Nice. Let's take him back to the corner. He went to sleep here by the gate. <coughs> Out of the snow, at least. Wow, I can barely see anyway. This the fog. The fog's nice. It's good, heavy snowstorm. <coughs> well, no sign of that guard just yet. Brother Thaddeus at home. No, his door is no longer accessible. Scatter head. <laughs> the body is uh, inconvenient, both heavy and. <clears throat> so I walk slower and can see less. Doors and opening, I don't see anybody or hear anybody. <coughs> Let's hope we have a fairly clear shot at the manor. Now, I should just be able to go in the front door, ideally. But I don't know if there's guards around. There is a guard post. Directly opposite, so let's just check. Alright, seems clear. <coughs> Gates aren't locked. But before I go in, actually, let's just. <coughs> we're in the dark. I'm just gonna go check. The uh, inventors, not inventors, the explorers window here. See if there's anything new in his study. <laughs> Once again, his house is inaccessible, just like last time. That's fine. Anything new in his diary? It's old. It's old. Yeah, we've read that all. Someone came in and turned his uh, lights on again, but uh, apart from that, there is nothing of interest. Okay. <laughs> there is a guard. Time to get the ship. <laughs> what? 
two even. Great. Should come while I have the chance. Never should have gotten out of noble guard duty. You know, pay's not as good as me, but by God, there were servants to take care of things proper. Oh, bollocks! Look at that. Okay, it's moving on. But say, one just had to stop in the guard post that we're trying to uh, <coughs> avoid. All right, let's wait for them all to move on. Front door is open and it's quiet inside. <coughs> and the fog stops suddenly, which is. I guess that's the way the engine works. To the library then. <coughs> we leave her by the secret door. What's our new objectives? You've got quite a list of components needed to perform the ritual. Gather them all. Four keystones. They're marked with symbols of life, death, spirit, and flesh. Three kinds of paper from the quill, a bookstore in Farpoint Alley, fiber hemp, fiber fire oak, and dragon snap water weed. Finally, the missing page from the Book of Shadows must be found. It contains the phrase which must be written on the three papers. Once you've found everything, return to Fairbanks Manor and take Julia's body down to the ritual location. Once there, assist Brother Thaddeus in performing the ritual. So, okay, we have... The Hammerite Chapel, which we've been in before, has the restricted library which only Brother Nathaniel could authorize access to and... The uh, Hammerites having the conversation indicated that he had returned. So I think that seems the most likely place to find the missing page. So we'll go and check that. Maybe not first. So right now we're in the manor here. We have four talismans to find, which for whatever reason are also in the neighborhood. Um, there was mention of them actually in the Hammerite uh, library. They said one might be with the keepers, but they didn't know where the others were. But they were all supposed to be in Dayport. So I guess we go and check every building that we have access to. And find out. I think one of them might be with the Explorer, by, judging by uh, the keystone that we found might be one of them, but I'm not sure. Uh, the Quill was not accessible last time we were in the northern area here, and nor was the Mechanist Research Centre. So it's quite possible those are accessible now. And part of the warehouse here was also not available to us before. So we're definitely going to go and explore it here. We're probably going to find some new, something new. I will come back to the south gate though. I'll come around here and just explore these buildings to see if there's anything new to be found along the way. Quickly and quietly. A lot of guards patrolling, and it's foggy. They could actually probably see through the fog better than I was. Including one at least upstairs here in the lighting department. No, that's not the switch on. No new loot. Come out where I can see you. Okay. You come in where you can't see me. Another rope arrow. Nothing. Alright, not much of interest here. Let's check the back door. If I can avoid dying on this ladder. Okay. So. Oh, this opens. Oh, it opened before. No, it's just a toolbox. That's right. Nothing. Much. There was nothing of interest here before. We didn't check the roof. So. Oops. Stop making all that noise, Garrett. You're supposed to be sneaky. Now, I also remember last time we were here, there was another cat burglar who was uh, making their way. <coughs> Ouch. I can't grab that. Making their way all across the rooftops. They were staying in the Harlequin Inn. We broke in and stole some of their loot. And they might still—they might be back again. 
So I should probably check, shall we? Let's knock out everybody in the room. Go. No, don't fall in the fire. You might, you might burn yourself. Okay. Maybe they weren't going to complain, but uh, I would not be surprised if they had. Uh, apparently, yeah, Jill Black, that was her name. Uh, or her alias. Let's see if she's still here. Or if not, if she has any more thieves goods for us. But let, first let's check the second room. Lady Fairbanks is still here. I would have thought she'd have moved on to uh, her mother's place or cousins or wherever. Anything new in a diary? No. No. Alright. Chill Black, anything new? Another rope arrow. Uh, another diary. January 23rd. Had to come back to my base for aid. Cut my hand pretty bad on a piece of metal sticking out of some brickwork on the roof of the tavern. And some bastard has stolen most of my surplus gear. Luckily I had a bandage and a potion stash where he didn't find it. I wonder. I would swear I saw another artist in the shadows by the hammer place as I was moving along the apartment rooftop. I'd better stay on my toes in case I have some competition tonight. I did manage to loot the dressmaker in the artist studio and now it's about time to hit the jewelers. If I trip up, I'm going to just run for the north gate and head home, so I need to take all my loot back out with me. Mm-hmm. Seeing things. You are seeing things. What are you seeing? Probably just the wind. Definitely just the wind. Alright, nothing new in the tavern. Uh, I forget where this roof goes, and I'm not sure I'll make a jump. Uh, just... maybe? Oh! Ow! Ah, it just goes over here anyway. I don't think it gives me access to anywhere I can't get otherwise. Let's check the baker's. Still shut. Let's check the back wall of baker's. Or the back room. Does not open. Anything in this alley? No. So I can get on the roof there. That's, that's where it goes. It just connects there. But I don't think there's any purpose to it. Don't remember for sure, so I'll just check quickly, but I was able to climb up here. And there were a couple of shutters that look like, you know, it looks like some of them should open. Maybe maybe if I was here on the very first day and I was in town, they would have opened, but now they don't. I don't know, I'll have to check. Well, there's a guard or... Yeah. Wandering the streets. Uh, so that's the jump I just failed to make. Yeah. I don't need to go back there. What was that? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Don't think you'll escape. Carry on walking. That's right. Stupid. It's probably just some rookie. Come out. Dad. I can see you. Why is that so noisy? Oh, you can't hide forever. But there's nobody here. Turn around. I don't want to have to hit you on the head. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> Letting those stay alert pep talks get the best of me. Definitely. All right, I'm going to wait till she walks a little further away before dropping down this time, because uh, otherwise I'll just alert her again. Or drop down this side. That works. There's another guard. Okay. Hmm? Normally I'd just like to let them go about their business, but uh, I don't know how much of the streets I have to cover today. There's definitely a bunch of back and forth I'm going to have to do to get all these components. So the fewer unexpected encounters of guards along the way, the better. 
I just need to keep a lookout for the ones with the helmets that prevent me knocking them out. Alright, we're in the square. <laughs> this is your last chance. Step Ooh. Hmm. Must be one of Hurry! There! Let's see how you look as a porcupine! <sighs> Got you! Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, time to escape. We've got him now! Uh how do Let's I best escape? Take him. Back to the bakers. Alright, uh, so, that was the other thief, Jill Black, accidentally setting off the alarm in the jewelers, just as I did, in fact. Oh, they've lost me. All right. I don't need to hide at the bakers. Uh, setting off the alarm, and then running with her stuff to the north gate. That door doesn't open. I'm just going to wait here in the corner until things calm down a little. Back, maybe take the opportunity. You take a few. <laughs> take a few more guards off the street. So, does that mean the jewelers is actually accessible to me again? Oh, okay. Just a little bit of storytelling, I guess. No, oh, that was nothing. I expect this also does not. All right. To the north, we do need to go to the bookshelf, bookshop, which is through here. Here's somebody. The quill, books and cartography. Well, it's a uh, inebriated citizen. You'll be fine there. This music shop is not open. Oh, there's a drunk guy there. There's somebody in the bookshop. Let's open the door and find out. Nope, I can't. Just have to find another way in. I see an open window. But let's let's find out who this jolly gentleman is. You, sir. No, don't fall in the fire. Don't fall in the fire. Get out of the fire. You, sir, need to rest. And uh, this room here is the ideal place for you to rest. Recuperate from your night of drinking whatever random stuff you found in half empty bottles on the street. And wake up in the morning with one heck of a headache. But you'll be out of the snow, so you won't freeze. I was assuming it is actually a place that are suitable for leaving in, but it looks dark enough. That's fine. Nothing in those boxes and barrels. I'm hearing a guard outside. That door doesn't open. What's the purpose of this room then? Absolutely nothing. Well, I suppose a place to leave this fellow. <laughs> all right. So, like the other night, let me just save. There's a guard in there. In case I break my arrow, I don't really want to do it. Let's just save beforehand. Well, it's all good. Take it back. Right, I need to pick the lock on the window, but I can't reach it. Is there wood above it? No, is there... Can I stick arrows in these shutters this time? Yes, so I can put a rope arrow there. Alright. Let's just climb up. Let's see... What we have here.
I can hear this guard complaining to himself, but I can't see him. I hope he's downstairs. Ah, uh, once again, Garrett is the master of opening doors and windows into his own face. Climb back down and fix that. I guess we take a leap. What? Ah, or not. Let's just climb. <laughs> Garrett! Inside. The Guchingen Stone Part 4. Flemme Guchingen gets the best bow, Garrett. I need a key. Alright, we're gonna have to find a key. Anything on those rafters? Probably. I'll check in a minute. What's this? Valuable. Uh, I might make noise trying to come down off the rope from those rafters, so I will not do it just yet. Let's see what where this guard is and what's he doing. Is that you? Don't try to run, Taffer! Just surrender now! I would have thought you'd lose sight of me, Barrett. <laughs> now he's lost sight of me. When I find you, you'll regret it! <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. It's a mystery. Just you wait till I find you! There's an open window, but I wonder where he went. <laughs> That's, did I get the key off his belt? Oof. There we are. That's probably the key I need, and he is unconscious. Well, that's not the key for that bookcase. Alright, uh, that means I can probably turn the lights back on up here so I can see what I'm doing. And since I'm back upstairs again, let's do the very quick check of those rafters. <laughs> Nothing on this one, and... Doesn't look like anything on the others. Alright. need to find a key for that cabinet, which has probably got the papers that we need to find uh, all the different codes. So I guess we hunt around. Alright, yeah, you're making lots of noise. Hunt around down here. I don't want to scale these bookshelves for secrets. Alright, that's the front door key. Yes. Some lights. Lights, why not turn them all on? What do we have? 20th January, this week's shipment has been delayed. Luckily, sales have also been slow of late, so my inventory is still adequate. More than the books, though, I worry about my paper inventory holding out. I may have to put it under lock and key, as I think some of it has been getting up and walking out of here lately. 22nd, my copy of Lillian's Dragons arrived today. I'll have to read it at least once before I consider selling it. I was surprised that Lord Bafford asked about it last week. I can't imagine selling it to someone like that who merely collects books, but doesn't read them. While they say his personal library is impressive, we all know it's just for show. What's this book? Aha, Lillian's Dragon. That's worth some money. And more, and that must be the key that I need. What's this? Fiber hemp paper. Well, I needed that. Right, back upstairs, we've got the key. We can get the other kinds of paper that we need. A small bronze key. Indeed, we have five fire oak paper and, well, now we have all three. Small loot and the Song of Flames, also valuable. These uh, first editions are clearly things that people want around here. Is there anything on top? Well, I can't, can't get there to find out. Okay, so I don't know if we have to check out the mechanist place. I'm going to go see if it's open because it's possible 
they have a talisman or something. There was some mention previously that they were storing something in the freezer of this warehouse across the street, so I'm gonna have to check the warehouse out again as well. Uh, so I'll do those next episode before heading south back to the Hammerite Chapel to try and find the extra papers. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you here for the next episode.